Hi everyone, welcome to Thomtech Tutorials. I am Thomas and this is third session of Azure Data Factory Tutorial 1. So in this session I am going to cover how to create Microsoft account if we do not have one and how to get a free subscriptions. So I think what I would suggest is like people who are really interested to learn Azure and Azure ADF they can probably like do a shadow on what I am doing. So with that let's uh, move to our portal go to Google and just search for Microsoft account login you will get the details like this click on the first link click on create Microsoft account provide your email ID and then you will be asked for a code let me just refresh but I don't think that I have received it so far so let's copy this and try this one I'm not sure if that is the old one or new one yeah I think we are lucky and that was something that was sent a bit earlier okay let's click on next and it's asking for a puzzle great so now we got our Microsoft account created with this email ID that's it now the next task would be to create a free subscription so for that what we have to do let's log in first to the Azure portal we have to use this link portal.azure.com and then put your email ID and then provide your password if it is already saved then we don't have to provide the password automatically it will be cached and it will be logged in so once you log in you will get this home page and now we should look out for like some subscriptions so you can see by default showing as start a free Azure trial and get this much dollar 200 free credit dollars towards the Azure products and services okay then we have access students so if we have student benefits it's like extended benefits that we can opt for so let's now click on uh, these three lines and then we should be able to see the resources that we can get created in our Azure portal so there are a lot of resources resource groups app services function apps SQL databases virtual machines storage accounts okay so now first of all we need to uh, get a subscription let's click on this let me just put So you can see we can provide these values and once we have provided these values then we can click on sign up and then in the next page we will get the options to provide the bank details with respect to the credit card or debit card so I'm just uh, hiding that out from my side it's like a very simple process so just give the details and then submit it so when you, you submit it it will deduct like two rupees from your given account and that I think is refundable so uh, that's it and uh, before we complete like 30 days anytime we can go and if we do not like or we want to end up our subscription we can go ahead and we can cancel the subscription so uh, that's all about this session and please guys do like and subscribe and do let me know your comments if you have anything so have a great day ahead
thank you